Hi, I'm Orlando Sentinel Sports Editor Roger Simmons here with Ileana Lamon Romero to talk about the big addition for Orlando City Soccer. It's Kaká time! It's Kaká. <laughs> so we have a couple of different things we think you should get to know Kaká at this point. Uh, the first one that stands out is that name. That how, is, I know. How it's did he kind of get that name? name. It, is, it is a very odd name. So it turns out his younger brother, when he was a kid, couldn't pronounce Ricardo, which is his formal first name, so he ended up with the name Kaká and it stuck. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there's also something interesting about uh, Kaká. Uh, that's, he's kind of similar to Tim Tebow in a way. Tell me about that. He's very outspoken about his Christian faith. Uh, he has lots of biblical inscriptions uh, that he has in his shoes whenever he plays and on a shirt that he wears under his jersey. Mm -hmm. It's been a big cornerstone of his life. He said it's helped him come through all sorts of adversity and he gives all the credit for his career to his faith in Jesus. So, so instead of T-bowing, it's kakai or something? Or? I think we'll have time to figure that we'll out. We'll find that out. <laughs> all right. Uh, tell me about how he compares with LeBron James. Bigger. Better. Bigger, better? Much bigger and better. Turns out he has far more social media followers than King James, who leads the NBA in social media followers. He was the first athlete to reach 10 million followers on Twitter, and he hasn't looked back since then. So he's got a, a huge fan following all over the world, especially in China, oddly enough. All right, what else do we know about him? What about his family and, and you know, how is he connect with his communities where he's at. Uh, yeah, he's actively involved in a variety of charitable organizations and really connects with the communities everywhere that he's been. He often, you know, writes open letters to fans on Twitter and he's always posting pictures of his family and, and trying his best to spend time with them. He's married and has two kids and they are ages six and three and I think they might enjoy Disney World. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> Who wouldn't? The last thing I will say is that he comes into this as an underdog. He's gone through a lot of injuries in the last couple of years. He wasn't on the World Cup roster. Just there as a spectator, as a former World Cup winner, that's got to hurt a little bit. So he, he should be coming with some energy to Orlando City with a little bit of something to prove. Stay with OrlandoCentral.com for more coverage of Orlando City Soccer's move to the MLS.